Alright guys, today I have a really exciting video for you guys. This is the Game Theory Tables board game table and I'm really really excited because I've been wanting a board game table for a long time now. Those of you guys who have been watching this channel know I've done some videos on, on a table that I had to be before and it was a poker table. But something that you guys don't know is I'm not a poker player. None of my friends really play poker and when we come over. It's all about these board games behind us. The reason I got that poker table was because it was from BBO Poker Tables, the parent company who makes this table, and they were affordable and they were really, really, really good quality. And that held true because the five years that I had that poker table, um, you know, it looks brand new when I sold it. The guy, the guy that I sold it to thought that it was like hardly ever used, even though it did get some use uh, with a lot of us, you know, playing board games here and stuff. Uh, that is a testament to how well that poker table was made. Uh, and it served me well. But I always wanted a board game table. And the reason I never actually had one is because they were always really, really expensive. They usually start at like three, four, or 5000 When you go to these conventions and you see them, they're really, really expensive usually. Or they're just not that great. And, and the reviews, you know, are, are not great. So when I heard about these guys making a, poker, a board game table that was going to be affordable, I immediately was excited because I knew what their poker tables were like. And I was happy to see what they were going to bring to the board game market. And when I saw their Kickstarter that launched uh, almost a year ago, um, and that they were going to actually deliver it the same year that that Kickstarter went live. They were delivering it this year. I was like, wow, they're going to deliver this. Because that's another thing. Sometimes you order these other tables, and it takes you like two years to receive, and nobody wants that. So they were delivering it in less than a year, and they nailed it. They, they delivered this in, in less than a year, just like they said. But I was immediately excited because there's a lot of things that a board game table offers you that a poker table that I had before does not, that a regular table does not. And you, you might already be thinking, what does that mean? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. I want to give you an overview of what makes this a, a board game table versus my old poker table, what I think about the quality of this thing, and if you guys want to order one for yourselves, I'll have the link down to the description of Game Theory Tables where you guys can order one of these and um, you know get one of these for yourself. But let's go ahead and talk about this table. Let's talk about the, the, what makes this a board game table, what makes a difference from a regular table, and what I think overall. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech, going for a brekkie is the game in tech, game in tech is the game in tech, game in techie. Alright guys, so here it is, my board game table from Game Theory Tables. I'm really, really excited to finally have this as part of my collection here um, for my board games to be able to play on an actual board game table. Now, the reason I was excited about this a lot, uh, for all you guys who follow the channel, you know what I had before was actually my BBO Poker Tables as well, which their uh, Game Theory Tables is kind of is basically a parent company to them. And, you know, I had a, a poker table because basically that was the affordable thing. Like, it was the happy medium. Even though I didn't play poker, it still worked pretty well for board games. And I got it customized, as you guys saw with my name before, blah, blah, blah. Once this came out from them, this was the affordable version. You know, most of these tables usually cost three, four, five grand when you saw them at different events when there were board game tables out there. And this became the affordable version. So I finally jumped on that train, and this table is fantastic, and I'm super happy to now have this. Now, let's talk about some of the differences of what makes this actually a board game table. For all those of you guys who are looking at this, being like, what makes this different from your old poker table? Why would I get this, and what would be the difference? So, first of all, as you can see here, uh, they did customize it to what I actually wanted here. Um, let me go ahead and just move these books. I kind of just had these for show. I just have these board game books, uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are really good uh, reading books for board games that I usually have out just to uh, for people to look at. But you can see here, they did a really good job with the actual design of the table. So I gave them this design, they printed it on this. And this is not printed on the actual table like my other table was. This is actually their, their gaming felt that's on here. And this just lifts up and it's just on a board. So if I ever were, for whatever reason, probably never would, but if I for whatever reason wanted to sell this thing, this isn't actually on the board and I could just take that top out and they would just be left with the wood underneath and they can do whatever they want with it, which is cool. So first thing is, of course, it's customized with my YouTube channel name. So you'll be seeing a lot of videos now with me behind the table and stuff, which is cool when I show stuff off. Uh, that will be, you know, fun, and I like that it's my YouTube channel name. It makes much more sense in this room. Uh, when I got the other table, my YouTube channel was nowhere near popular or big and it wasn't full force like it is now so i didn't get my youtube channel name i just got my last name instead so this is a different change and i think it came out really really good the second thing that makes us a, a board game table that we got to talk about from a poker table that i had before is how big it is from here from going from this area to that area so basically your playing space so you got to remember the poker table even though it had this area as well where you actually rested your hands there's a couple of things so now 
this middle area is about eight inches bigger than what the poker table was. So from this area here to that other edge, it's almost eight inches bigger than what the old poker table was. So that's a lot more surface space to be able to play those bigger games. Cause you know, board games can can require a lot of table space. And this obviously now lets me play more board games a lot easier because there's a lot more table space. Not to mention that the third thing we're gonna get into, not just the space in the middle, but these things here along the whole entire table now means that people can actually put their player pieces on here. If, they're, if every person has some player pieces for a game that we're playing, they don't have to waste the space on the table because it can sit right here and it doesn't fall out because of course it has that gap there. So it will stay nice in there and everyone can put their cards there or whatever they have for player pieces around the table and everyone has their own two slots and stuff, so which is really cool. The next thing that makes this a, uh, you know, a board game table as well is of course the, in, like, I don't know what the right word is right now, but like the fact that this is like indented in, as you can see, there's like four inches or five inches um, from when the actual table starts to when you can actually put your arm on it. So what that means is when you throw dice on the table and stuff like that, you know, you can kind of throw it and it won't fall off the table in any sort of way. Another thing that people use this for, but I didn't need it for my game room, is a disc. They did sell a dining top for this. I didn't want the whole entire do dining top because I knew I wanted this to be shown in the game room the whole time. This obviously is not in my dining room. But the idea is, is that you can have a game set up underneath from something you played the day before. And you can put the dining top on top and then you can still have dinner on it. And the game is still underneath and you won't have any issues. But for me... Uh, one thing I hope that they do in the future that I really wanted was I wanted to have just one dining uh, you know I wanted them to sell them individually I had to buy the whole entire dining top which I didn't want but what I would be interested in is getting two of the dining tops or one of them just to be able to kind of cut this in half so I have like a dining top right there and then have like the stopper underneath which they do sell. and basically what that would do is that if there was only three of us playing a board game over here in the corner or four of us over here we can kind of make this like the snack area so you can basically put the dining table on top and then put the stopper on the bottom so none of the dice or anything will go underneath there and we got the snacks over to the left and then be playing the board game over here on the right so but i needed to buy the whole dining room set for that to happen so that i didn't want to do that but if they ever sell those separately that's something i would definitely consider adding just to have one piece just to be able to have snacks when there's only three or four people playing on the table and not the full table on the other thing that makes this a board game table that I'm really excited about but is unfortunately not here yet for all my board game fans, you know what I'm talking about. We're talking about the dice towers and the trays. So as you can see in these corners, these are basically, uh, you know, they just kind of sit here. They're, they're removable and we'll talk about more of what's inside of there in a second. But basically on top of these things, on these wooden things on each corner, they were selling accessories and two of the accessories that they talked about were trays and dice towers so dice towers if you guys don't know is uh for people who play don't play board games a lot it, it's a tower that sits like this high and it has like little thing dividers and stuff and you put your dice through there so it kind of shakes them up and randomizes it every time and it goes through the hole and then comes out to the opposite end so I'm, i bought two of them so basically i'll have a dice tower over here a dice tower over there on that side and then on these corners i bought trays so what the trays are going to do is basically um, the trays are going to go in each corner and they'll help you organize the components So if there's like money or something I can put half the money over here and half the money over there in the other corner That way everybody can easily reach and no matter what side of the table you're on If you need a resource or you need a game or anything like that and you can't reach the center of the table They're right there in the corner and everybody can easily grab it So it's a three deck tray system or something like that So there's three cherries on top of each other and then the dice towers on each corner. So I'm excited for those to come because that kind of gives it the finishing look on why this is a board game table versus just a poker table. Those trays and those dice towers in the corners definitely is another reason why it, it separates itself from being just a like you know just a regular table as well. And one of the other things I added, which was an optional add-on that I'm going to show you guys on the other side here of the actual table, is the actual USB charger. So you can see here that there is USB chargers on each one. I do have it currently turned off, um, but they do light up in green. So they light up in green really nicely around the USB ports. And there is a bunch of these. I have two over here, two over there, two on this side and two on this side. So I have a total of eight of these and they have USB-C and a USB uh, port right there. So everybody can charge their phones when they're at their table. Some of the board games nowadays require phones and iPads and stuff. So it's nice that everyone could just kind of plug their phone in right underneath them and then you know be basically on their way and, and what i was talking about with the corners there is two plugs that come from it so basically the way that the usb port or ports are being managed if you take off this corner here 
as you can see I took off the corner and you look in here there is an actual USB hub in here uh, you know the ones that you're used to seeing that you plug five USB things into so there's a hub in there it has the cable going all the way down to the leg as you can see there it's coming out of the leg uh, from there and all of the USB ports that are around this area here on this area of the table they plug into this one and then there's another USB hub on that corner and all the ones around there are going to that USB hub and then again a cable is going from underneath that leg in that corner as well as you can see and right now for the time being until I figure out a better way to do it I kind of just have a meeting in the middle with one plug and that plug is obviously being plugged into my uh, charger over there when it's needed I don't have it plugged in all the time um, like you don't see the green things on right now because I have no reason to have that on all the time unless the people are actually over um, but it does look nice I didn't know that they were gonna light up in green uh, so it kind of gives the table some flair when people are coming by you can definitely see the green light underneath a little bit from the USB charger so it just gives it a little bit of light flare which is nice um, but yeah I was really happy with the whole experience with game theory tables and the Kickstarter itself if we talk a little bit about that you know the table came I, I got XBO XBO is a service that basically does white glove uh, I heard some horror stories so I was a little nervous because I heard some people getting their tables and unfortunately you know some of the shipping carrier the shipping carrier ended up either damaging it or it came with a giant hole in it people had to deny their deliveries and I was like oh boy I hope that doesn't happen to me they were obviously getting resolved you know game theory tables is taking care of those issues when they come arise but it's going to take them a couple of weeks obviously at least to ship you another table because now they have to go make another one for you and go through that shipping carrier and and file all that other stuff that they needed to do so they're doing everything they can but obviously nobody wants that when they were waiting for a table for almost a year now so i got lucky this thing came in literally perfect condition so this is obviously the onyx table if you've been seeing that it's black uh the special kickstarter color that we all picked and i think it looks fantastic it's black but it also has like the wood grains in it uh, instead of just being the glossy black which they do have that option as well i like this one because it still has the wood effect but then also still in black and like i said it came in perfect condition like there's nothing there was nothing physically wrong with the actual table itself physically no damage on it underneath the bottom the sides or anything literally it came like they it basically came like it like they gave it to me and they handed it to me right from being made and i put it right down here which is fantastic the guys who came from xbo were really good uh, they were really nice over there uh, at XBO. I've never used them before in my town. You know, they, they accommodated me for getting it delivered a day earlier, even though they were swamped. So I really appreciate that. The guys were unfamiliar with how to put the table together. I thought Game Theory Tables was supposed to, like, give them, like, a, a background on how it gets installed, but that didn't happen. But either way, I mean, the table's not that hard to put together. It's a couple of bolts on each leg. It's more that you need the manpower to hold it, to, to put the legs at least two people. But other than that, uh, you know, we figured it out pretty easily when they got here. But I, or, I got them specifically because I, I'm in the basement. I have to take them down and find the stairs. I didn't want to risk me and my wife carrying this table down the stairs and breaking it or anything because the table is really heavy. So uh, it was nice to just have them bring it down and set it up and it was all set to go. So the only issue that I had, we'll leave this here towards the end. The only issue I've had with this board game table, uh, which I've already emailed Game Theory Tables about, and I'm sure that they're going to take care of it pretty easily because it's the least uh, issue. So I talked about having USB ports everywhere and I told you that there was two on this side as you can see. This one here does not light up uh, and does not charge. So if I plug something into this one and light it up, you know, I tried unplugging it and plugging it back in. All the other seven work, but for whatever reason this one does not work. It worked for like two hours and it was a green and then when I looked after that it stopped lighting up and now it doesn't charge. But the ones right next to it charge so I know it's not the USB hub over there because the ones all around it all charge and light up. It's just this specific one, so they're probably just going to send me a new box. This is basically screwed down really, really tightly and nicely underneath the table. Like, this won't go anywhere. It's not, like, cheaply taped on or anything like that. It's really nicely put on there. So they're probably just going to send me one. I'll take the four screws out of the box and, and put the new box in there, and then uh, we'll be on our merry way. Um, so the last thing I want to talk to you guys that they also sold that I also have as well is mats. So as you can see, this is the custom table. This is the gaming felt. This is the nice feeling material that I showed you guys already. And, and this is the one that you usually probably want to play on. But they also sell uh, from Panda. From Panda, they also make these mats. And they're, they're cool because you can basically customize them depending on what you're doing with your game. So if I put mine on and show you guys what it looks like right now. So this is the mouse pad that I chose. It had a variety of options here. And I may actually buy more in the future here. But you can see here that it, it feels like a mouse pad. Uh, that's kind of the material that I describe it like. It has a really nice feel to it. And obviously it's printed to the size of the table um it, it fits pretty well 
and you know obviously it's not going to be as tight as the one underneath the one underneath is the one that's edge to edge this is obviously more like a mouse pad so it's made you know as close as possible uh as you can see there but it's it, it's pretty it's pretty goddamn close and it looks really really good uh when you're playing certain games on here um because this is the wood look so obviously you can have this and you can put board games on top of it but they also sell you know ones that are green and ones that are blue so and, and they look like it's in the water so if you get mats that are in the water and you're playing like a water based game for board games if you want to take it that next level you can make this whole table look like it's blue and if you're playing other games you know you might want to make it green and then there's other ones that are in space so just add some elements to the game that you're playing so it's really cool i hope that they actually make a few with more of those mouse pads or sorry these these uh table covers like this because you know it'd be cool to have some of these for different games you know maybe they they make one they partner with a specific board game company if these tables sell well as they already did on their kickstarter they'll make other ones with actual artwork from board games and then we can lay it on here so possibilities are endless when it comes with this but i ordered just this one and i'm probably going to order a couple more like the green and the blue one just to have like the water based one and like the the grassy forest based one just because uh you know there are some games that kind of fit that feel that i own and it'd be fun to have that out here when i'm playing you know those type of board games and kind of have the mat out and they work really well and like i said you could just leave the mat out like that it easily rolls up like a mouse pad you can take it off and then it obviously reveals my year gaming techie that you guys saw underneath it before so yeah i'm really really happy with everything about this table guys uh it came like i said in great condition uh i love the artwork that they did for my year gaming techie channel they did a good job printing that uh i love the the um shelving here or however you want to call it. it's a little area for your for your pieces and stuff that everyone gets the the cups that i obviously chose i love that these corners have accessories that they're going to be including those accessories i'll do another video when those get here a quick video update on this table when those get here but that's supposed to come sometime in november they said it's shipping separately so hopefully that does come in november and i'll give you guys an updated video real quick to show you how that looks on the table but i'm excited about those i like the mouse pads and i like or, or i keep calling them mouse pads because you guys get the idea this giant mat and i hope that they make more and i'll be probably buying a couple more i like the usb chargers it gives everyone the flexibility of charging their phones because i have a lot of people over sometimes and they're always asking me for a place to charge their phone but when we're playing board games that's never going to be an issue again uh we'll just have to have some cables and then everyone can plug in their phone and then we'll be all set um the table's really really solidly built no surprise by game theory tables because like i said bbo poker table that i had was extremely well built and it still looks brand new when i got rid of it like that thing was built like a tank and this feels like it's also built like a tank uh we'll see how it holds up uh this being wood and if it, how easy it's going to be to prevalent to scratches and stuff but so far the table looks fantastic and i can't wait to have more people over the house to be able to finally play board games uh, in the way i think about it being proper <laughs> even though we played them on the porco table but i feel like now we have a proper way of playing board games something that i've wanted for a long time um and now we have it so I'm extremely uh, happy with how this table came out. And if you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in today's video or any questions about the table that I may not have talked about, leave those questions down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.